channel and today I am going to uh, show y'all how to make a ham in the crock pot um, I have got let me move the camera I have got a Cumberland Gap this is a turkey that comes from Kroger I mean a ham that comes from Kroger and um, this is a Cumber Cumberland Gap semi boneless ham with natural juices it's a seven and a half pound ham um, I got it for it was 279 a pound that was right much um, Wow, I didn't re even realize that it was that. I just put it on my grocery list because I wanted a ham to fix now before Christmas. Um, I'm fixing a ham for Christmas, but I'm going to have um, ham biscuits. I've decided that I am not going to fix a big dinner like I had for Thanksgiving for Christmas. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to fix a lot of... Um, <clears throat> appetizers and stuff like that I'm, I'm like I'm gonna fix meatballs and um, we couldn't find the little smokies except in 10 and ounce packages and they didn't have the big packages so I just got some smoke sausage it was a big pack of smoke sausage I'm so I'm just gonna cut those up into pieces and let's see, we're going to have those and then the ham biscuits. I am going to fix another ham, but it's going to be a big ham. Um, oh, and I can't remember. Oh, and I'm going to go in and fix the my macaroni and cheese and my baked beans and deviled eggs. But there was other, some other things that I was going to fix too, and I can't think of what it is. Of course, between now and Christmas, I'm going to be making lots of cookies and candy and stuff like that. But I am <clears throat> going to fix, I had gotten this ham <clears throat> to fix before Christmas, and, and that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to fix it in my crock pot. And so I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to have to move y'all. So hold on a second here. All right. Oops, I'll raise you up. All right. Back you off. All right. So the ham is going to go in here. How am I going to do this? I'm going to put some of the pine. I'm using, I always use pineapple in my ham. Always. Always pineapple, always brown sugar. So I'm going to go on. Shoot. Can't even get the can open. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm going to go on and put the juice, pineapple juice in the bottom here. All right. And then I'm going to put some brown sugar because I'm going to put the flat side of the ham down on, in my crock pot so in order to get the juices of that I mean the brown sugar now I'm going to put that down in the bottom and then set the ham on this alright so. come on now Let me get a spoon, a poon, for the rest of my life I'll probably say poon. I'll say spoon and then I'll say poon, because that's what my kids said. They wouldn't say poon, a spoon, they'd say poon. Alright, and then I'm going to put... I also have pineapple chunks here, and they would fall off of the ham. <clears throat> so, 
so I'm going to put the chunks, some of the chunks in the bottom. Alright. love pineapple that has been cooked with the ham or whatever I just love it okay so there's that I might better put more brown sugar down in there okay now I'm gonna turn my ham I'm going to cut it, the paper off of it, whatever, the plastic off of it. See, it's got the little bone right there. Semi-boneless. Cumberland Gap. Semi-boneless. Half ham. This is a half a ham. The one I gotta get for the kids from the kids for Christmas. I hope it's bigger than this. Because it I don't know how many people's gonna be here for Christmas, but we wanna have a lot because I'm gonna fix ham biscuits. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this and then just put it over in there. Like that. Oh, ha, ha. Right now let me I've got to get over to the plug-in so let me get over there and plug the crock pot in and I'll bring you back okay y'all I'm back all right so I have got the um, crock pot plugged in now and I know you can't see but over here all right over here's my tree it's um being hidden I'm at the table now and and right here, let me see, right, woo, 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 all right, finger, figure out where are you going, <laughs> right there under that chuck sign, um, right there, Samantha's sitting in the floor, wrapping presents, I'm telling you, she is such a godsend, y'all, um, oh my gosh, but anyway, you see the stockings are here on the table, and, um, there's other stuff right there that's got to be hung up, and, um, I got my red chucks out, and I, I can't wait to show y'all. I'm not going to right now, but I'm going to show y'all what Samantha got me for Christmas. And she got me a, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. But anyway, I'll show y'all later on. Today, I've got to get this ham going and stuff. It's already late, and it's going to take hours for this to to get done. So, all right, so y'all can see, maybe let me make sure that... Well, I'm going to have to try to move this up. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you can see that the over here, the juice and the brown sugar and all is halfway up the ham. I'm going to put some more brown sugar on the top up here. Oh, come on. All right, push this down, and then I'm going to put the pineapple slices. I'm going to put those on the top and squish them down. I love the pineapple slices when they're cooked on the ham. And I know that's probably not going to stick there for very long. It's probably going to slide down. You want but, to yeah, I'm... It'll be all right. It's gonna, if it slides down, it's going to slide down in the, the pineapple juice, so it'll be okay. 
All right. I've got him pushed on there. All right. We got two more slices. One will go right there, and then oh, I got two more still. All right, one will go right there, and it's gonna fall down in the juice. <clears throat> oh, come on! Oh. And then one will go right there. All right, and that is it. The lid is going on. All right, now let me move this back some and show y'all. All right, it's, I'm turning it on and it's going on high for four hours. I'm going to take it up to six hours, which it's not going to be. It probably four hours will be all I need. May not even be that long, but I'm going to see. Now that's all covered up with. Um, brown sugar and pineapples and the pineapple juice and in my crock pot and now the next thing that I'm going to fix is I'm going to fix something in my instant pot I've got two cans of Allen's Italian green beans. I absolutely love these green beans. I've got to take the can the tops off of these and rinse these because these are not um, Yeah, these are not already seasoned. These are just unseasoned. So I've got to season these up So I'm gonna take the lids off of these go in the kitchen empty these and drain them and then wash them out two or three times because y'all know I cannot stand the taste of the canned and canned green beans. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go and rinse them out real good and put them in my instant pot and I will bring y'all back. Okay y'all, I'm back. All right, now this stuff you can fix for Christmas dinner. Um, I'm just fixing it for Samantha and I for um, today and tomorrow we'll have leftovers or whatever, but in this, in my instant pot, I'm getting ready to put a 38 ounce, 38 ounce of Allen's Italian green beans. I got to put some other stuff in here first though. And then I've got a, see a 38 and a 28 ounce jar I mean can of Italian Allen's Italian green beans and these have been rinsed oh rinsed numerous times and drained and rinsed and drained I want to say three or four times <laughs> because I like I said I can't stand that taste all right so I have got about a cup and a half of water in here. I'm going to put the beans and potatoes. I'm not sure how many potatoes I'm going to put in here, but it's going to be right many, I think. All right, so then I've got Nor's chicken flavored bouillon. Let's see how many. One teaspoon. Uh -huh. one teaspoon has 820 milligrams of sodium that's a lot but I'm going to have to put like two big <laughs> teaspoons of chicken flavor bouillon in here all right, and then I've got two packs of ham seasoning, and I don't know how much. I know this has probably got sodium, a lot of sodium in it, too. Maybe I won't need any salt, just a little bit. Let me see how many things of sodium 
is in this. Um, okay, so this serving size one fourth teaspoon. I don't know what they. I don't know how to do that because these are in packets. And I don't know how many, how much is in a packet. But I'm doing two packets. And so I really don't know how many milligrams of sodium or whatever this is. But I got to get the a good taste in my green beans. And this ham. Mm -mm -mm. I usually use this in my pinto beans, but I'm going to try it. I've never done it in my green beans, but I'm going to try it because ham is ham, the ham flavoring is good and everything. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using two of these. Alright, and then I'm using a stick of butter because I've still got to put the potatoes and all in here too and so I'm putting all this in here and I'm turning on my sear saute alright so that's coming on there and I'm putting one whole stick of butter this is Kroger's butter well, not really, I guess butter's butter huh That, what I was watching, a, uh, Samantha said, unless you get Kerrygold, I was watching a thing this morning on Alton Brown on Kerrygold butter. And he said there's a lot of water in Kerrygold butter. Really? Yep. Oh. Alright, y'all, I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, my, my daughter's on the phone. That was her calling, and she's got me on hold. So I'm putting... Um, the two cans of green beans in here. Shoot. Hello. Okay, Kayla, hold on a minute. I'm doing this movie. So I've got, you're on the movie right now. So hold on a minute, okay? All right. So, uh, so I'm putting the green beans in here. And I've got these on saute now because i got to cut up the potatoes. So I will bring y'all back in a little while. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I have got... I don't know how many <laughs> pounds of potatoes in there. It was that big bag of little potatoes that I get at Sam's. It was the other half of that. And then I put all the stuff in with the green beans. And then on top of the potatoes, I'm putting, I put a probably about a teaspoon and a half of Badia Complete. And then I'm going to put the Kinder's wood-fired garlic on top of the potatoes, too. This is one of my most favorite seasonings, is this wood-fired garlic. And I'm going to put them in. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. But it does not have the garlic taste like y'all think. All right, I'm going to put the Friday on here too. I oh, don't know. I might have too many seasonings. I'm not putting very much of that. I wasn't even a half a teaspoon probably. All right. So I'm going to go on. I don't know whether to stir these or not. I'm scared if I stir them, there's not going to be anything on them. It'd be all down in the green beans. So I'm not going to. All right. So I'm going to put the lid on now. And this is the Instant Pot Duo Nova. And this automatically seals itself. And I have a spot right there that I need to get off that I keep forgetting about. And I don't know what it is. Probably something that, well, it's like a powder. I don't know. All right, so anyway... Um, the Duo Nova automatically locks itself. There isn't any. You got to find the sealing and the venting or anything like that. It's just not on this one, which I love. All right, so I'm going to turn this one on. Pressure cook. 
Um, and I'm gonna go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think I'm gonna go. No, I gotta change this. 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna go 15 minutes. I don't need to take, it doesn't take that long, but it'll be alright. The potatoes are not gonna, they're not gonna disintegrate or anything. So there it is. They're doing, gonna do 15 minutes. The ham, I, you know, I didn't even look at the thing when I put the ham in here. I think it was like, I don't know. I think the ham's been cooking at least. No, it hasn't. I was thinking two hours, but it hasn't been. It hasn't even gone down. It's still on six hours, so. Um, all right, well, whenever this gets done and everything gets done, I've still got to, I'm going to fix some fried apples too, so I've got to cut those up. I have not cut up all those apples that I had, and I've got to do that. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so the next thing that I'm fixing is fried apples. Um, my grandma used to always fix fried apples, and so I had all those apples that, if you go back and look, I had all those apples that I went and got from the orchard over in Roanoke, and I still have <laughs> three or four of the I guess it was pecs left. So this I've got between the next two days I've got a lot of apple things that I'm gonna be making. But I've got stamens in there. That is all stamens. But I'm also cutting up these um pink ladies right here. And I but I decided I need to go on and put them in the pan. Well, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut this down. And because I've got all these pink ladies that I've got to peel and slice up too. So I'm just going to be turning these over and getting them in the butter. I just put one stick of butter in there. And I'm getting ready to put some cinnamon and some sugar in there on them. And I need to go in and cut these other ones up. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I've got all but three apples cut up um, for the this frying pan of apples. Now y'all can't see me, but I'm cutting up one that I have that I thought of. I don't know what I was thinking or whatever. My mom wasn't here. But I thought I'd done cut it up and I hadn't. I'd peeled it, but I hadn't taken the core out or seeded it yet. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've got the sugar out. I put one stick of butter in here, but I'm probably going to have to go back and put more butter in here for this. My dog ate some apple a while ago. I was very excited, but that's, she just ate one piece. She won't eat no more now. I'm still trying to get this cut. All right. Now the last ones, the ones that I just put in or pink ladies. So I've got pink lady and stamens in here. I'm going to go on and let me move y'all over here some so I can get over here. I've got to get this cinnamon. All right, I'm using Members Mark Organic Ground Saigon Cinnamon. And I'm just going to, I don't know how much. Right, let me get out of my teaspoon. All right, so I got one teaspoon of cinnamon here. 
I think I'm gonna put two teaspoons of cinnamon on here. I hope maybe a oh, woman. I think it's all. So I put one and a half te teaspoons of cinnamon. And then I'm going to put sugar on here. But I don't know how much because I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to pour some on there. And I'm going to say probably a good cup of sugar. And this is like two packs uh, minus like two apples so this is like two packs of apples and they're going to shrink down but you still want to have that taste or whatever of the sugar and the cinnamon and all that so I gotta put a lid on here and I may have to put more butter in it but maybe not I've got it on 220 on my new wave now. I'm going to cut it up to 250 and put the lid on this and let these steam for a little while. The, it looks like the, I can't tell, but it looks like the ham has gone down to four hours. So that means two hours has been cooking for two hours. I'll probably let it. I'll check on it on three hours. I'm not going to take the lid off of it now, but after three hours, I will probably check on it then. So, I'm going to get off of here and put the lid on here, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. All right. So, the dinner's ready. We just don't have any room to put the plates on here yet before I show y'all everything that I fixed. Over here's the ham. I started off cutting it the wrong way, and I figured out how to do it after I done got the whole end off over here. All right, so there's the ham. It cooked for three hours in the... Um, three and a half hours in the crock pot. It has a wonderful taste to it. Wonderful. Um, and right here is the pineapple and the juice from the ham. I will, I like to dip my ham in that, um, you know, once I'm, I'm eating or whatever, I'll put some in a bowl for me. This is just a bowl for everybody. All right, so here is my green beans and potatoes. It ended up being quite a lot of potatoes. Or more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so they cooked in the pressure cooker in the instant pot for, um, I don't know, they were in there for an hour, but somebody's texting me again. I'm telling you, every time I start to make y'all, I make a movie for y'all. All right, and here's my fried apples, and I have tasted these, and they are amazing. I put the sugar on them, and the uh, stick, it was, it was a stick of butter, and what was I think it was a cup of sugar, and then a teaspoon and a half, that's right, it was a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And oh my gosh, oh, they're just, these are part stamen and part pink lady, and um, and they're just amazing. So we're going to go, and I took a picture of the aisle of it for y'all, and I'll probably put, um, I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see, but I'm going to take more pictures in aisle too. So you can see there's, over here's the pineapple and stuff, and there's the green beans and the apples and the ham. And oh my gosh, y'all, this is just going to be so good. There's the piece of the ham. Mm. Mm -mm. I wasn't sure that this was a fully cooked ham, but I went online and all these hams like this are fully cooked. So it says you could, I could have opened it and eaten it cold, but I didn't. I put it in the, the crock pot with the brown sugar and the uh, pineapple so all right we're gonna get up here and eat